Kauma nahia na muyangu, a resident of Namalembe in Ibugweri district, flew to Saudi Arabia on 15th June 2021 to work as a housemaid. Similarly, Mariam Najuka, a resident of Lubowa in Gomba, left for Saudi Arabia on 21st June 2021 for the same job. The two went through separate labor export companies but met in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> According to Nahia, she had been promised heaven on earth by the labor export company, but her miseries began on the very day she landed in Saudi Arabia. I arrived in Saudi Arabia at night. My boss picked me from the airport and took me to a lodge and tried to rape me. Later, he took me to his home and the story was the same. The two have worked in different homes, but still facing daunting challenges, resulting in traumatizing experiences. We have been locked here in a room for five months. They bring food and leave it here. We were three, but the third was killed as we looked on. The ladies say they appealed to the companies that exported them to help them return home, but little has been done to alleviate their pain. They don't care for us. They keep saying Ugandans are unwilling to withstand the hard life. We are pleading for help to go back home. We visited Prospects International Limited, a company located along Canon Luwama Road in Sentema Luwaga Division, which exported Kauma Nahia, but the place was locked with no one to attend to us. However, at Strepa International Services Limited along Mutesawan Road in Mengo, Abu Wahid Islam Nachibinge confirmed he was aware of Mariam Najuka's concerns. We are aware of Mariam's issues and she has been in Saudi Arabia for four months. According to Nachivinge, the company is in touch with Najuka's bosses. However, they are concerned that Najuka may not have been ready for the work she encountered in Saudi Arabia. I'm aware she refused to work with her first boss. They got her a second boss, but she demanded that her personal effects be brought to her, which we did, but she still refused to work. Nachivinge shared with us a recorded voice, allegedly from Najuka's bosses, who were complaining about her. This girl brother, she is refused the first employer, which is sponsor, and then she come to here, she said, I want to work another employer. We was discussed with the employer, new. The next day, employer come to take her, she refused. She said, I don't want to go. Nachiving is also unhappy with the public pressure on labor companies. There are nearly one million Ugandan migrant workers in Saudi Arabia, but the few who get problems have caused us so much stress from the public. However, the administrators of Strepa International Services Limited say they are willing to repatriate Najuka. We have decided it's better to cut our losses and bring her back home. So, we are going to bring her back. Abdallah Kayonde, the executive director for Migrant Workers Voice, believes there is no orientation for the migrant workers before they are exported, leading to the crisis witnessed abroad. When they are training these girls, the people who train them are not open to them to understand, or even they don't have experience, because the training centers would be run by the migrant workers, the returnees, the former migrant workers. But is that the recommendation? They just pick anyone on the street, Katogo, and then he comes to join as a singer, as a motivational speaker. These are the people they use. But do they have the real experience we give? Kayonde is advocating for a fair representation of rebels abroad. However, Kayonde is fearful for his life after getting threats allegedly as a result of the pressure that has recently been exerted on labor export companies. Got threats. People are threatening me for the cases we are handling and for the cause we are standing for. Uh, and I don't know who exactly is trying to warn me, but the pops I'm getting in and the people have, have, that came to my office physically to tell me smartly, please man, watch out. So I'm really scared even to stay in office, but I'm, I'm going to continue. Patrick Senyondo, NTV.